So welcome both of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so I, I'm Ben Straub. I'm from uh, GSK, and I'll be presenting alongside Eli Miller from Atoris. Hello. And um, Eli, we can't see you. I don't know. Let me start my cam there. Ah, yeah. oh, there we go. My house is under construction a little bit, so apologies for the messy background. All good. Uh, yeah, so Atoris and GSK collaborated on developing some packages, and this presentation is um, about uh, kind of our process of, of creating that uh, our package toolkit uh, for addressing some needs in the clinical reporting pipeline. And so the, the presentation is gonna uh, focus on, um, you know, kind of def a, a, a defining the clinical reporting pipeline where we plugged in there, um, some of the challenges we, we kind of uh, faced and identified uh, with using open source tools such as R in a regulatory environment. A little overview of, of our collaboration, like our timeline, and kind of kind of where we were were going with with that stuff. And so I'll cover those three parts, and then um, Eli will take over and review the three packages that came out of our collaboration: Metacore, Timber, and Exporter. And then we'll have a brief little uh, shout out to the the burgeoning ph PharmaVerse. So you know, in the you know, from drug discovery to you know, delivering um, a submission package to the to the to a regulatory agency. It's a it's a very long pipeline, and this pipeline can be both you know time consuming and resource intensive. And our collaboration really focused on you know what the pipeline part of the pipeline that happens kind of towards the end of the clinical trial and then right after the clinical trial. So you know where all the data is collected, um, you know with the CRFs with uh, with the medical um, lab and PK collection. Um, and then how that kind of is like put together into a STTM data set and how that kind of sources back to the to the source data. Um, and then um, you know how that STTM data is transformed into uh, you know an atom data set and where the philosophy of you know kind of the the one proc away, which is a kind of SAS uh, specific procedure to to transform the data the atom data into a into a display, uh, but still all traceable back to the original collected data. And then how all that data set is, all, all that information, the data sets, the data displays along with additional um, documents are kind of packaged together and then sent off to a regulatory agency such as the FDA. And where we kind of identified some, some, some parts along the pipeline that we could plug in and develop some R packages to help kind of streamline, automate this process. Um, and so, you, you know, in this, in, in identifying the stuff, we, you know, we kind of encountered some challenges, you know, of using an open source language uh, in a regulatory environment. And one of those challenges was that, you know, a lot of the processes that, that have been adopted by regulatory agencies, you know, kind of, they make use of SAS a lot. Um, so we kind of are against that challenge. Um, also, when you're developing with uh, different companies, you know, you kind of face this issue of company firewalls, VPNs. How do you share the you know code and data in a responsible way? And I think another challenge we faced was, you know, you know, a lot of the SaaS processes take precedent, and so do we develop an R package that mimics that SaaS process, or we kind of redefine the process? And then you know who who takes ownership of this open source product that we have created, and how do we make sure they they're well maintained and 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 all that? So and then and then you know some of the solutions that we you know, found along the way, you know, using GitHub um, or GitLab or Azure to kind of help us um, create interactive and version control processes. Uh, you know, we start, we're, a lot of us are involved with the R consortium and, and how to get the, how to deliver a, pa a submission package to R. And then there's some packages out there like Haven and um, SAS export that already mimics some of the SAS processes. So we kind of pulled off some of that. So then within our, you know, we really kind of started in October 2020 with our develop package development. Um, you know, we tried to use this agile development software process, which some of us were, were new to. Um, but we, you know, within that pipeline that I kind of referenced a couple of slides ago is, um, you know, we identified some places where we could thought we could make the biggest impact with limited time and resources. You know, some of that was that, you know, our programs don't generate logs like they do in SAS. So that was a big one. 
Um, other things is, you know, R can be a little challenging with uh, variable labels, even such things as data set labels, types, and lengths. So we, you know, developing a package to kind of address that issue and develop uh, XPT files. And then a, a big challenge is, you know, how do we leverage metadata within R? Um, such things as like creating a defined XML. So we met October, December, January, kind of hashed out what we wanted to, 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 to work on and then pushed into January through March developing the packages. And then in May of 2021, we pushed it out as the alpha packages. And then we have proceeded to um, take a little break, but we're hoping to, um, you know, with the development of Admiral and other packages, um, push push out um, and continue to develop these packages and hopefully have some stuff developed by May 2020, some additional features and updates. So now Eli will take over and discuss some of these packages that we made. Thank you, Ben. <clears throat> so this is going to be a crash course in the three packages that we developed alongside uh, GSK. The first one was Metacore. Uh, and the idea behind Metacore was that clinical uh, metadata is very standardized and very well structured. And there wasn't really a solution for dealing with what's called the define XML uh, for clinical work that's being done in R. On the figure uh, on the left there, you can see what clinical data generally, uh, clinical metadata generally looks like and how it all relates to each other. So the challenge was getting all of that metadata into R in a way that's easy to use for the R developer. So we developed the Metacore package, which has an interface for spec files. So you can read in your um, Excel file or your define file, and you now have a single R6 object that you're able to pass in uh, to your other functions so they can use that in uh, you know, your programming for your uh, clinical data. Uh, and in the future, we're working on, you know, integrating that into new packages like Admiral and getting that uh, worked into other companies' processes. So if we go to the next one. And Ben said earlier, one of the challenges that we found was that R doesn't really have the logging features that a lot of SaaS programmers expect. So we developed the Timber package uh, to create logs. Uh, and the idea was we really want to not only show the output of the program, but really provide a lot of traceability for the program. So you can see on the figure on the left, some of the things that a uh, timber log will output, not just, the, um, not just the results of your file, but also uh, metadata about the packages that you ran it with, your session information, the user that ran it, um, and so forth. And this is a really simple just wrapper around the source function. So there's really no um, uptime to, uh, you know, downloading Timber to actually using it. Um, and in the future, we're looking at doing things like creating a wrapper around job launchers in the RStudio IDE. So you can just go straight from, you know, launching a job to that job being completely documented and reproducible. And next one. And the next one is exporter. And this has been a challenge for a long time. Uh, clinical data, when it's being sent to the FDA, is stored in an XPT file or an export v5. Um, and there were a couple packages that would uh, export these files. But the problem was there was really no interface for adding in the attributes. So unlike a normal R data file or a CSV file, um, in XPT files, you have uh, variable types, you have uh, lengths, labels, and the data frames themselves will have labels. So we created the exporter package to add in all of this metadata and then being able uh, and be able to write out a, um, a compliant XPT file that you could send directly to the agency. Um, and in the future, we're looking to better integrate Metacore along with this. You can already pass in a Metacore object um, but we're just looking to add in, you know, different file formats and different uh, functionality to really close that gap for the, uh, the data set piece of this uh, package. And welcome to the Farmerverse. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see here, there's already a, a ton of packages that um, really start to close that uh, gap that we use for clinical trials and clinical uh, reporting. And there's a whole bunch of different organizations that are, um, are working in open source to close that gap. 
Ben, any any last words? Any final thoughts? Uh, just welcome to the Farmiverse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you all.